And looking at the lower limb, blood vessels this time, what we've got on the superior aspect here, we have um, the common iliac artery here. Now we don't have the vein with it, but we have common iliac artery here and then it splits just here on the medial aspect of the psoas major into an internal iliac artery and an external iliac artery. And then of course once that external iliac artery gets to the inguinal ligament, it changes its name. So beyond the ligament, it is then the femoral artery. So we've got common, external, femoral, all the same tube, uh, but three different names there. Then we do have a couple of veins, so we do have a, yeah, a couple of veins here just next to it. So we do have a bit of the external iliac vein here, and then we do have the femoral vein traveling here through the femoral triangle and then through the adductor canal with the artery. So the red bit you can see running down here is all femoral artery, the blue of it is all femoral vein. Just remove rectus femoris, that will help us to see some of the other vessels that are here in the femoral triangle. So what we've got is a deep femoral artery, sometimes called profunda femora, but there's the deep femoral artery running in there. And coming off that, we should have medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries too. Now on this model, I'm not entirely certain whether they are intending that to be the lateral circumflex. I don't think so. I think, actually, yeah, they probably, sorry, they probably are intending for that one to be the lateral circumflex artery. The medial one we can't see. I would hazard a guess that this first little bit coming off here off the deep femoral will be the first of the perforating arteries. Alright, so that's femoral vessels in here, travelling with the saphenous nerve. If we then come back up to the pelvis just briefly, travelling with this yellow obturator nerve here, we have of course the obturator artery. And it, on a specimen, naturally, there will be a vein there as well, and that would be the obturator vein. So here, We've got three structures, all called obturator, all travelling together, but on the model, they're only showing two of them. The models don't show a lot of the veins, unfortunately. Now then when we get down to the back of the knee, so the popliteal region, we can see the tibial nerve, the common fibular nerve here, and here we have the popliteal artery and popliteal vein. Now they change their name once they go through the adductor hiatus, which is just here, but again, the same tube as the femoral vessels, so they're just a name change when they get through that boundary there. So they travel down through the popliteal region. We have genicular arteries around the knee here, so we'd have a superior medial genicular and a superior lateral genicular artery, and then uh, inferior medial and inferior lateral genicular arteries there. So they're all going to anastomose around the knee, and I think. If we, yeah, if we turn the, the knee over, we can see how the branches come out um, around the front of the knee and join up with each other and anastomose around the knee joint. Then, when we get down here towards the distal border of, of the popliteus muscle, what happens is the popliteal artery splits into anterior tibial, which we can just see here disappearing through a space in between the tibia and fibula. And then the other branch is the posterior tibial, which is really just a continuation of the popliteal, okay, running straight down the back of the leg. So this one, once you get to this point here, you no longer have a popliteal artery. We now have anterior tibial and posterior tibial. And then this branch comes off the posterior tibial not far from where the anterior tibial arises, and that's the fibular artery. So the one that carries on down the back the leg in the posterior compartment is the posterior tibial artery. This one here, the more lateral one, is the fibular artery. And we can spot it again right down here. Just, we can just see a little part of the fibular artery here. And of course we can follow the posterior tibial all the way down with the tibial nerve. Where it becomes, behind the malleolus, it becomes the artery in Tom Dick, very, very naughty carry. Then, we turn over to have a look at an anterior view of the leg. What we can see deep within the anterior compartment, travelling with the deep fibular nerve, 
is the anterior tibial artery after it's come through the interosseous membrane here. So that's the anterior tibial artery, which then, once it passes the talocrural joint, becomes the dorsalis pedis. You can just see here in the book. 